President Trump is condemning the leak of a cruel comment by one of his aides about Senator John McCain. According to a White House source, Kelly Sadler said McCain's opposition to the president's CIA nominee didn't matter because the senator is dying. The president complained on Twitter that, quote, leakers are traitors and cowards. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. And now a number of Republican lawmakers are calling on the White House and this particular staffer to publicly apologize for those comments about John McCain. But President Trump, by his own admission, has never been big on public apologies, and his team appears determined to follow his lead. If it were me, I would apologize. Louisiana's John Kennedy and several of his colleagues are urging White House communications aide Kelly Sadler to issue a public mea culpa. I don't know whether she's stupid or not, but she sure made a bad decision. Sadler was in a White House meeting last week when John McCain's opposition to CIA nominee Gina Haspel came up. According to a White House source, Sadler joked about the 81-year-old senator who is battling brain cancer, quote, it doesn't matter. He's dying anyway. Colleagues leaked her comments to reporters. It's going to be dealt with uh, and has been dealt with internally. Deputy White House Press Secretary Raj Shah deflected questions about Sadler's comments, instead focusing on the leaks. That creates a very difficult work environment. I think anybody who works anywhere could recognize that. I said everything I really had to say on Friday. McCain's daughter, Megan, co-host of the daytime talk show The View, said the White House shouldn't be surprised. If you're working mm -hmm. in the White House, you should expect everything you're saying in any context to be legal. Republican strategist Matt Schlapp, whose wife works in the White House, came to Sadler's defense. She showed character to immediately call to apologize, but she's also a little bit of a victim here. But McCain occupies a special place in the Senate. One thing about our colleague John McCain, <clears throat> you'd rather be on his side than not. And some Republicans say the best way to move past this would be to, quote, show some respect and apologize. This culture of contempt is not healthy for anybody. Now, Sadler did apologize personally to Megan McCain and told her, according to our sources, that she would be making a public apology. So far, that hasn't happened. Kellyanne Conway, a White House advisor, did indicate last night that there might be some staffing changes at the White House, Gail, as a result of these leaks. All right, Nancy, thank you very much. You know, what's interesting to me is that people are joining this debate and keeping it going because it's a debate about civility. That's right. It's how we talk about exactly one another, right. especially at some of the most vulnerable moments. This is not politics. This is a moment yeah. that demands civility. And when you double down on something that people find so egregious, it just continues and continues and con we're still talking about this story days later because of that. And you know, inside the White House, the president's concerned about leaks. There are two ways to stop leaks. You either crack down on them or you set an example of public behavior so everybody says, I don't want to leak because I don't want to besmirch a White House that is holding that kind of standard. And so this is a situation where, you know, the standard is at question here and it is going to keep going on. I also wonder now, too, if the apology does come, will you feel it sincere since you had to be beaten to do it? Yeah. But the story still continues. And remember, Gail, yes. at the heart here is a man who has a very serious, it's another human being yes. who is ill and, and facing uh, a very tough road. I mean, that's that can get lost here, too. That's what everybody's thinking about. Nancy, we thank you.